Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Warframe for Noobs by a Noob. My name is Dylan, aka Goop, here at Cooperative Gaming, and the topic of the day is how to become stronger in Warframe. You've been playing Warframe for some period of time. Uh, you've gotten through the first few planets, maybe even all the way through Venus. Maybe you've gotten another frame, but you're getting to a point in the game where you're dying pretty quickly, fairly easily. You're just not able to stand up to the enemies anymore. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to get stronger in Warframe. What all the stats, XP, affinity, levels, and mods really mean at the end of the day. Now, the first thing we're gonna go over are, well, the pretty clear things. Well, what your levels are. When you first get a frame, any frame, or a weapon, secondary, primary, or melee, they're gonna have levels. They're gonna be unranked, or they'll be one through 30. Now, as you use these weapons, you're going to gain affinity for them. You gain affinity by completing missions or defeating enemies. This affinity is generally a number that you see, and sometimes at the beginning of missions you'll get bonus affinity for doing specific requirements. This affinity is going to rank up these items 1 through 30. Now this is important to note. Uh, as we start here, the second frame that you can really easily get in the game is Rhino. We have a brand new Rhino at level 0. Now. As you level these guys up, as you level up your weapons, your frame, etc., you're going to see this number up in the upper left-hand corner. Now yours is going to say zero with a little blue bar that fills as you level things up. As you become stronger and stronger by leveling, you'll get a higher mastery rank. That is what this number is here, mastery rank. Now you may be asking yourself, cool, so the higher my mastery rank, the stronger I am. It's like light levels in Destiny, right? No, 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 no. So mastery rank is essentially just an accumulation of every weapon or frame you've ever used. Whether you currently use him, whether you sold it at max level, it doesn't matter. If you've used it and gotten some levels with it, it's affected your mastery rank. It's an accumulation or total of all of your levels on all of your gear. Now that being said, what does mastery rank do? Well, mastery rank allows you to use specific things, uh, specifically weapons in the game here. Now, if we go to weapons, for instance, and we'll do primary. I have a mastery rank of eight, as we saw before. Now we'll see here, mastery locked. This is a level 10 weapon, and therefore I can't use it. Now, arguably, higher level weapons aren't always better weapons, but generally, well, it's in your best interest to experiment and uh, combine. Warframe is a game, of course, that thrives on you being able to change weapons and really figure out how you want to play the game. So as you climb through mastery ranks, you're going to want to follow this path. You're going to want to look at these things. Certain weapons, prime weapons, are going to be a higher mastery rank, some of them into the 13s and 14s. It's incredibly important that you acquire some of these weapons. Those will be the good ones. Now, again, mastery rank doesn't make you stronger. So what does? Well, mastery rank, as we said, is an accumulation of all the frames and weapons you've ever used. As we see here, we have a max level, which is 30. We have a level 30, a level 30, a level 29, a 15, and a 28. The accumulation of all of these frames levels and the levels of most of my weapons here, as you can see, very few and far between, is going to create my level 8 that we saw at the beginning. Now, if we take a look here, one thing worth noting is that if you have duplicates of a frame, these do not count towards your mastery rank. You can only level a frame 0 through 30 one time. That being said, if you have an Excalibur and somebody gifts you another Excalibur, that second one isn't going to give you any mastery rank. It only counts the first time, the first original time that you try to level a frame. So that being said, if you get the ability later in the game to re-roll and start from zero with somebody's level, again, as you level them a second time, you will get no extra mastery rank. This is to keep the game diverse and to keep you playing new things, new weapons, new frames, and really experimenting out there. Sometimes it's not great, but most of the time it's actually really enjoyable to switch up what you're playing with. Now that being said, what does this all mean? We have weapons, we have ranks, well if the ranks don't make you stronger, what do the ranks do? Well, if we take a look at Rhino, who is unranked, a brand new frame that you can get very early in the game, we're going to go to the upgrade menu. Now the upgrade menu is intentionally used so that you can insert mods onto a frame. You may ask, what are mods? 
Mods are, well, modifications. They augment your frame to become stronger than, well, its base level. So as we can see here, we have a capacity in our mod system for eight. What does that number mean? Well, for instance, if we go to heavy impact in the upper right hand corner, we'll see heavy impact takes four to use. In the upper left hand corner here, we'll see that we have 10 duplicates of this particular mod. Now we can go through master thief takes 10 to use. We have rifle scavenger that takes two to use. Shield disruption takes two to use and so on and so forth. So it's safe to say we're going to go ahead and equip flow. Flow is one that you're going to get very early in the game. And this mod in particular is a broken mod. And you can tell that by the shattered glass look on the front of the, the mod itself. You can also tell by below the word Warframe, it only has three little dots. As we can see with a flow that is unbroken, we have five little dots. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in the future. Now, if we take this flow and we insert it into our frame, it has a cost of two, as we can tell. It's going to take two away from our capacity. It means that we only have six left to be able to insert mods. We could tell our energy pool to be able to use abilities went from 100 to 118. Just a little bit of a bump. Now, if we take that flow off and we put on a flow that's not broken, let's go ahead and put them on here. Now, we'll see that this one took four, but went from 100 to 125 energy. Broken mods are inherently stronger doing 25% extra energy instead of 18% extra energy. Now, that being said, we go back to the little dots. Under the word Warframe, we see five little dots. Now, what does that mean? That is the amount of times that you can make this particular modification stronger. It's called Fusion. So if we put on one of these guys and we get enough currency, let's go ahead and go to the Mods button. Now the Mods button is going to show everything you have equipped on that current frame, weapon, or however. Looking at it here, we'll click on Flow, and Fusion instantly lights up. You're going to go ahead and click on Fusion to be able to make a mod stronger. Now it's going to take credits, the currency you earn in game by playing and selling certain things you don't need, and it's going to take Endo. Endo is a reward for certain alert missions. You'll also earn it during missions like Excavation and Defense, as well as many others. Endo looks like a giant glowing blue basketball out on the field, so be sure you collect Endo any time you can. Now that being said, this flow can be leveled up. Let's see what happens when we click up. And as we click up, we see the energy that we're going to get extra actually increases to 50%, but the drain that it puts on our system goes up to five. Let's go up again. 75% extra energy, but a drain of six. 100% extra energy, a drain of seven, and so on and so forth until we max out this flow. Now it's an extra 150% energy for our energy pool. Now this modification has taken the energy that we have and made it so that we have a larger pool to use abilities. This is how mods affect your frame. However, you have to balance this with the drain. This will actually take nine from us. There's no way with our current frame we would be able to equip this. Because if we think back, our frame can only equip a capacity of eight. Now, how do you get your capacity higher? Just by leveling your frame. As you level your frame zero through 30, you're gonna get more of a capacity on the frame to be able to equip more mods. It's sort of an odd give and take where leveling up allows you to become stronger, but in a sort of different way. Think of it like stat allocation in an RPG, but a little bit more complicated. Ultimately, this will tell you over here what your endo is, what the cost will be, and how much credit cost it'll be. And then you would click Apply Fusion. We already have a flow that's maxed out, so we don't need to equip that right now. Now that being said, we're going to dive into the second part of adding modifications to your unit, polarizations. Now the game tries to explain this and you may have forgotten if you put the game down for more than three hours to take a break or God forbid go to bed. Polarizations are in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Uh, I'm sorry. Polarizations are in the upper right hand corner of a mod slot. And you can see here there are different symbols. You can see all the different symbols here across the top starting with the last four. Now, for instance, if we go, we see that this is an important one right here. We'll match up and click this and let's find a mod. So let's say redirection, which will give us 360% shield capacity with the current fusion I have on it. Now you can see this takes 12 by looking up in the upper right hand corner. Well, how are we going to fit this? If we go ahead and slide this over, we'll see these nodes turn green. 
you can slap it on there. As we can tell, the number required to actually use this modification went down because we matched up the symbols that were in the corner with one another. This is called polarization. As you add mods that are polarized, well, it's really going to reduce the amount of strain it puts on your system. And as your capacity becomes higher, you'll be able to add more and more mods of significant value. As we can tell, our shield, just with this one mod, has gone up from 150 to 690. There's a significant difference that will give you some more survivability against those tough encounters. Again, as a recap, you have Mastery Rank. Mastery Rank up here is just an accumulation of all the levels of every weapon or frame you've ever used in the game. How do you get levels? Well, you get levels on your frames and your weapons by using them in combat, during missions, etc. As they level up, you'll be able to have a higher capacity for your Warframe's mod slots. And as you mod, you'll be able to add things to polarization slots, uh, like redirection, where you'll be able to add higher shields, higher health, more armor, more energy, etc. It is worth noting that if you don't have a polarization, you can go ahead and add something on there, and it'll just take the standard amount, the six or however, that it shows in the corner. And there you have it, guys. That is primarily how you become stronger in the game. There are some more in-depth techniques that we won't talk about in this particular video, but we will go over those in a more advanced course. So look out for that video soon. That being said, if you think I missed anything or you would like me to go over some more information, please comment down below. If you enjoyed this and you know some friends that are jumping into Warframe, please share it with them. This could be a lifesaver. Again, guys, this has been another episode of Warframe for noobs by a noob. Again, my name is Dylan here at Cooperative Gaming, and uh, well, I hope you guys liked the video. If you want to see more Warframe-related content, head on over to twitch.tv slash cooperatives. You can find that in the description below, or stay tuned for the next video. Thank you, guys.